G'day pals, welcome to Guardians of Home. This is an awesome little tower defense game. We've got some orky boys who are gonna come out through here and you can see the path that they're gonna travel on to try and get our big crystal. So we definitely need to set up some traps along the way. I think we can start with some spike traps and we can do a slowing trap maybe here along with an arrow trap as well. Rather than them going through this shortcut here, maybe we can use a roadblock trap in there. Now they have to go the long way around. And there's also this little push trap here that's already on the map. So we can make use of that now too. All right, let's just start. Let's see how we go with this. Oh, they're big guys. Actually, they've got a lot of health. I thought the spike traps would sort them out. Let's put another one down here. Common orcs. That's who we're fighting right now. There's only five waves in this first level. So we'll see how strong they can get. They can't be that strong, right? Maybe let's push the next wave in. If you start the next wave early, you get a little bit of a bonus. Okay, they are getting through, so I'll put another spine trap up here. Oh, that guy just got pushed over. Oh, what's this thing? A clamp trap. Does 250 damage to the first enemy that steps on it. They have gotten through here. I put in a few more spine traps, and hopefully the arrow trap will sort him out. Oh, yeah. Beauty. I just realized we can level up our traps. So let's level up that spine trap. They're still very slow. <laughs> that guy just got pushed off. Okay, this is the final wave. Can I upgrade my... Oh, insufficient level. Let's upgrade this spike trap as well. Oh, they're really getting through. I'll make sure I level up as much as I can. And this push trap. Oh, I can't level up the push trap. That's my favorite thing to watch. Is it pushing those orcs into that deep pit? I think we did good. We still had a lot of wood left over at the end. Oh, and now we can pick a different trap. A paralysis floor immobilizes enemies and increases the damage taken. Harvest trap, if enemies die within range, get eight materials. Or an archer's mark, summon up to two archers that can attack from range. That sounds really cool. We'll do that. It's very expensive. We can choose a powerful relic. Whenever an enemy dies from burn damage, gain 10 materials. We can redraw our hand with this one. Bonfires can recover 15% more HP. I don't have any of those things. I guess maybe the redraw one. We might be able to use that one at least. You can get a trap here. Oh, an acid trap. Decreases defense of enemies by 25 for 3 seconds and does damage. Hook trap. Enemies pulled in a direction and takes damage. All those paralysis traps. It's got to be the acid trap. That one sounds great. And now we've got a blacksmith so we can enhance a trap. Let's enhance one of our spike traps. Now it's got a star on it. Okay, next map. Oh, they're going pretty straight. I think we're going to have to divert them somehow. I've got an idea. We'll put our first roadblock in here so they have to go over the oil tar trap. We'll put a second roadblock in here just to force them up the top. And I'll just block this area off just in case they feel like they want to try and go that way. I've got to try out the archer's mark. Let's put it here on the corner. Summon our units down here. That seems like a bad spot for you to stand. <laughs> You're going to get chased by orcs, I hope you know. Let's put in a spike trap here and maybe can we just put in an arrow trap as well? All of our damage is going to be up front here. What is this guy? Treasure goblin. Oh, he's carrying a treasure bag. Our archers are rinsing them so far. Maybe I'll put an oil trap in just to slow them down a bit more. And let's start the next wave early. We're going so well. Oh, an acid trap. That's right. I forgot about that. Let's put an acid trap right at the start. The acid trap is great. Look at it. Oh, they're barely getting out. Can I upgrade that? Yeah, let's level that up. I want to level up these archers too. They're so good. All right. Well, we found the ultimate strategy straight away. This is the last wave already. Oh my gosh. We're not getting much wood though. That's the only thing. I'm going to put our upgraded spike trap right at this entrance. They're not even going to be able to get out of this little corridor. The orcs don't stand a chance against the choke points. Okay, I think I can already see which trap I want. Flying enemies will ignore effects from floor traps. Wait, there's flying enemies? Okay, maybe that's something to think about. An oil tar trap. The rotary blade trap. This does an area of effect, damage, and pushes enemies away. Okay, yeah, it has to be the rotary blade. <laughs> Before our next battle, we can upgrade some things. Let's enhance one of our existing skills. We can do arrow rain or a bomb. Let's do arrow rain. That might even help if we get flyers as well. Now we can pick a relic here too. We can increase the base slow effect of oil tar by 25%. When we have less than 12 traps on the field, we can decrease the attack delay of all traps by 35% or increase trap damage of traps not constructed by the player. No, let's go this corrosion nail. I think that's okay. I have a feeling we'll have more than 12 traps on some maps, so I don't want to cripple us. And now we can enhance a trap. Since those archers were so good, I'm going to enhance them. Okay, so they're coming out of the portal, sneaking through this little alleyway and down to my fort here. So of course we need to put a roadblock trap in. 
And what are these ones? Rock trap. They're a one-time trap. Once activated, this trap will roll in one direction and crush enemies on its path. Ah, so these are a one-time activation. This is a perfect time to test out our rotary blade. Do they just walk straight into that? Seems dangerous for the orcs, and that's kind of the point, I guess. Let's do our acid trap strategy again. That was so good. And we'll definitely do our archer's mark here. I'll do an arrow trap here, a tar trap to slow them down, and now we're out of money, so we'll start the battle. I'm going to skip straight into the next wave just to give us a bit of bonus wood. And that way I can put an upgraded spine trap right at the front of their portal, which is rinsing them. Why don't we put in another arrow trap here? I'm going to try and focus on upgrading these traps rather than building more right now. I wanted to see how the rotary blade went, but we've kind of stopped them all right at the start now. And I need to think about what we do when they escape. I think I'll need to build a roadblock over here. We we'll probably want them to go all the way around and in. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. As soon as I can skip to the next wave, I'll do that as well. So they are not getting very far. I'm going to place this roadblock down here just in case they do get out of our little area. Now, if they come out, they'll have to go all the way around. So far, I am not concerned. Okay, wave six. There's a boss. Oh, look at this guy. A giant orc. Uh, he's dead. <laughs> he didn't make it further than the tar trap. There's another one of these giant orcs. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's leave this as it is. I'm not going to upgrade anything. Our strategy is too good. I do want to use a boulder though. Let's see what happens when we use this. <laughs> that did so much damage. We can pick more traps now. There's a sulfur floor, which is like a burning floor. That sounds really fun. A fire trap as well, which ignites enemies. Or a projectile trap, which fires bullets, but it overheats and can stop attacking. I need something that's a bit cheaper, I think. So we'll do the sulfur floor. And now we'll upgrade something. Can I upgrade my archers a second time? Oh, I can. They're two star archers now. Okay, we're up to the next level. I think this has a boss on it, so we'll see how we go. The path's kind of crazy at the moment. So it's just going up through the middle and through here. So if I block off this area, they might avoid it. So I'm gonna have to block off this area first. Let's do that. Second thing I'll block off is this area. Hopefully they go past. Oh no, they went around. Okay, so I'll block this off up here and they're going through there and I'll block this off. Okay, spent a lot of money, but now they're kind of going in the right direction. I still need one more trap here just to make them walk through there. Okay, that should be perfect. Now let's just start with some spike traps and I'll put in an arrow trap at the start as well. I have a feeling they're gonna get past this, but hopefully the frost floor that we've got here and there's also a paralysis floor here that will help us. And they're also gonna go past the fire trap that's over this side. As long as we can control these first few waves, we should be okay. I'm gonna risk it and we're gonna skip straight into the next wave. This level's got nine total waves as well. Oh, let's use one of our arrow attacks. That was pretty good. And I've got enough for my archer's mark. I'm going to pop that here. Oh, that ball's really fast. Oh, no, get flamed. Yes, perfect. Okay, good. At least we've got our archers in now. That um, fire trap really saved me there, actually. Okay, arrow traps are working great. Let's put another one here. Try and contain them in this little area as long as we can. Okay, the archers are attacking. There's another ball coming out. Let's put in some slowing traps here. Flame is in the perfect spot. Oh, that guy's new. A troll witch. Melted just like everyone else. My arrow attack has recouped when I need it. Skip this to get more gold. Why don't we put the acid trap in here so it'll spray them when they, when they turn right here. And another spike trap. Oh, good. The boars don't get through now. This guy, a troll witch. The only troll healing unit that can heal nearby demon king units. Oh, no. It heals its friends. That is not good. Right, this is under control now, though. We're already wave six. And these orcs are struggling. They're crying for help. Oh, a few balls are leaking through. Never mind, our archers have picked up the slack. Let's upgrade our archers as well. Oh, I can't let those trolls heal. So let's upgrade our poison and everything. We just got an achievement. Strong acid. We're up to wave seven. Let's skip straight to wave eight at the same time. And let's test our sulfur floor out. Okay, that looks really good. This is a kill zone right now. This is good. And of course, a rotary blade. We didn't even get to test this out last time. So let's see if they hit it now. I still maybe build it too far away. We're the last wave now though. Was it just those big troll guys or is there actually a boss here? Oh yes, our rotary blade just ate those boars. Oh, okay, here's a big guy. There is a boss troll. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Oh no, rotary blade, get him. Oh, it melted him. That rotary blade completely minced him. We can get one more trap card. 
Springboard trap bounces enemies in a certain direction. That could be fun to spring people into the abyss. There's also a guards mark, summon up to two guards to fight enemies, or an acid floor. The archer one is so good, so this guard one must be pretty good as well, I imagine. Let's see what relic we get. We've got a burn rune that increases burn damage by 45%. That's crazy. Lucky ring increases our gold reward from battle. Or a sharp spear when using pits to kill enemies. I don't have pit traps. Let's do the burn rune. Our um, burning floor trap should work much better now. Let's go to the trap room and we'll get a... Uh, what's a dart trap? Cheap traps that fire small darts quickly. Uh, let's try it out. Let's get a dart trap. Oh, there is actually a shop where we can spend money. So it looks like down the bottom here, we can buy traps or little enhanced cards even for traps. But we can also buy these items. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this mortar trap sounds insane. Fires a mortar shell to attack the enemy when hit deals damage to all enemies in the area. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I've only got 180 left. I could buy this saw trap or what about this enhanced trap? Let's see what that is. Let's enhance the rotary blade, I think. Let's save the rest of our gold. Okay, this is kind of weird that they've blocked off the middle of the map, but I think this is okay. Um, we've definitely got to build a roadblock trap there though. Oh, now they're going above. So I'm just going to block off this top area as well. I don't want them to go up above at all. Okay, well, let's maybe make our kill zone up this way. Oh, we can do the mortar trap. Do I have enough? I do. Oh my God, how, how does this shoot? If I put the mortar trap here, that's actually pretty good placement. It catches this whole area. And guards mark I can do as well. Okay. Let's test out this guards mark too. I might put these guys. Oh, perfect. Yeah. These guys look mean actually. All right. See what you've got orcs. Only trouble is I've got no traps at the start here. Hopefully the mortar is going to take everything out. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Is it going to be enough though? I'm nervous. Oh, nearly one hits those orcs. If they start spreading out, then it's bad news. But otherwise, it might be okay. What I should put is some slow traps there if I can. All right. Um, I might just pop in a spike trap there just to help out my guards. I've got a sulfur floor there. I'll use that soon as well. What is that guy? An armored orc. Oh, he got through pretty well. Okay, never mind. Our mortar melted him. 750 to upgrade this mortar as well. It's not cheap. I'm definitely going to need more traps first. I can put in a sulfur floor. Let's get some burn damage on him. All right, armored orc. How long are you going to last? Not very long. How far does the dart trap shoot? Oh, the whole way. Wow. Okay, well, now they're not even making it down that corridor at all. Okay, well, apparently all you need is like two traps, a sulfur floor and a mortar trap, and you're good to go. We'll get the next wave involved straight away because I think the more enemies we've got, the more damage this mortar tower will do. We've got a rotary blade, though. Why wouldn't I put that in? Let's get some mincing happening. Oh, they're not even standing a chance. Not even close to getting through. Let's get the last wave involved as well. I might throw down another spike trap. Oh, we got our archers. Cannot afford them though. There's a little shaman guy in there. What do the shamans do? Can summon other orcs and somewhat resistant to magic attacks. Not resistant to mortars though, luckily. Um, I think our guards are a little bit bored up here, to be honest. Okay, well, that was not a problem at all in the end. That mortar tower just sorted everybody out. A steam engine decreased the attack delay of traps within the range by 17%. That's really interesting. So everything in the area attacks faster. It's pretty cheap as well. It could be really good if we've got a little kill zone happening. All right, there's only two more levels. Let's do the blacksmith. I'll enhance one of our traps. Maybe the sulfur floor. I think that would be nice. Well, I didn't need to come here, but apparently if you stop at a bonfire, you can recover your health. We're already at 30, so that was a bit of a waste. This time, let's add on the Brave Challenge. We add four jackals to every wave and get a bonus 110 gold. Down and straight through there. We want to try and make them spin around as much as possible. So if I block it here... Oh, they just go through those traps. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's really annoying that that's there. I'm going to sell it and we'll put a roadblock in. So now they're going right around down to the bottom. Put another roadblock in here and just one more. Okay, so at least they got the top and they have to pass at least one more trap up here. Now I'm going to pop in an acid trap. As soon as they come out of the portal, they'll get acid right in their face. Let's do one of these dart traps as well. They seem kind of fun. And we've got some guards, so we'll pop them in maybe here at the end of the corridor. And that's enough for us to start the battle. Oh, the boars. The boars got through instantly. Our guards do stop them though. That's actually really good. At least we know all the boars are going to get stopped. 
There's a sulfur floor, actually. Let's put that in. Get some burn damage on things. I really need some more traps. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. Here's an arrow trap. Uh, I'll put that in on this side. They can help my guards out, maybe. Actually, let's change the rally point for my guards to here. That way the arrow trap can help as well. I still don't know what these jackals are, though. Oh, that's these boar things. They're jackals. Okay. All right. They're not a problem, though. I wish I knew what they were earlier. <laughs> I would have built different traps. We might put in a spike trap there. Let's speed things up a little bit. All right. We're looking good, though. We'll add in the next wave into the mix. And actually, I want to see if I build a steam engine up here. Oh, the range is not that big. This is the perfect place to add a rotary blade. <laughs> good luck getting out of there, orcs. The jackals got through, though, somehow. Maybe if I attack this, the range isn't bigger, but hopefully that means things will attack even faster. I'll add a tar trap here in front of our guards. Oh, we got our archers mark too. That's perfect. I'm going to add in my archers here. Oh no, that is not a great spot for them maybe. The boars can run past them it looks like. Oh, and they can actually shoot up there as well. They can shoot through this little crack and we got an extra 110 gold at the end of that just for having those jackals. Now we can pick another card. Increases the damage of nearby traps by 15%. You know what though? Let's pick another sulfur floor. Plus we've got that extra burn damage, I think. Okay, so we can either go the blacksmith and the trap room path, or we can go to the shop or there's an event. The event sounds too good. Too good to miss. We've got 440 gold. Let's enhance a trap first of all. Let's enhance the acid trap. We've been using that like crazy. Let's use this one. When the number of traps in the field is less than 12, decrease the attack delay of all traps by 35%. We've been using such a low amount of traps. I think that's really helpful. You know what? I'm not going to buy anything else. Let's just return and see what this event is. The peace in a small town is broken by the kingdom's army as they search for suspicious people. However, they are patrolling the area non-stop, so it seems they received a very important order. You are annoyed by their presence and decide to go for a walk. Where do you go? Civilian district, because I want to know what the eraser relic is. All right, so that's just a way to get an extra scroll. Oh, but it's time. The final battle. Boy, this guy looks dangerous. It's a flaming skull with a tiny little crown. Lord Duma, Lord of Silence. Excels at commanding high HP units and has extremely high HP itself. Okay, we need a lot of damage here. Okay, so we can either choose the path at the top, which has acid floor and some spine traps, or the one below that has some arcane traps. So let's just block this section off first of all. And with one more roadblock, if I do here first, they have to go past the spike traps. Oh, actually, yeah, let's block this off as well. So hopefully they'll go up and around. Perfect, okay, that's really good for now. I might just throw in some spike traps along the way. Can we get anything good? An arrow trap is good. An acid trap is good too. Okay, let's make this little area our kill zone. Let's see how far this gets us. All summoned enemies gain 20% max HP. Oh no. I skipped a wave. I don't know if that's smart. There's 12 waves total in this one though. So far, it's all enemies we've seen. Nothing too crazy. Might add in an extra arrow trap up here though. Oh, we've got our archers. Okay, very good. I wonder, could I put my archers here and they'll still shoot? Yeah, they can shoot. Oh, awesome. Okay, that's great. That works out really well. Maybe we'll add a sulfur floor in there. We'll get some burn, get some arrows on them straight away. Then they've got to walk into a, a wall of shooting arrows. Then, you know, a nice sharp left into a wall of poison sprayed at your face. And then you have to walk through poison before getting more arrows shot at you. A new entrance has opened up. <gasps> Excuse me? That's a new portal. I don't have any money. Okay, this is bad. I didn't know that was going to happen. I need to sell some things. I'll sell this spike trap. Actually, I'm going to have to put in a guard's mark maybe. No, that won't do enough. I need to put in a rotary blade and just hope. Let's just hope that that does enough. Oh, if they get through, I'm, I'm screwed. How is that fair? I'm going to sell a poison trap as well. Let's put in another spike trap. And another one. Okay, one got through. I don't know what I could have done about that though. Okay, I've got a roadblock though. I'm just gonna have to start putting in roadblocks when I can. Oh, another couple are gonna get through. Ouch. Do I have to sell anything else? I might have to. I'm just gonna sell this. Okay, if we can put this roadblock in, we've at least got a path where they'll go across. Oh no, they're cheating. I need one more roadblock. Oh no. Oh, this is very bad actually. Okay, roadblock in there. Oh, now they're just gonna fight it. I put the roadblock in the wrong spot. Okay, roadblock in here. Oh no. Oh, we're down to half health. At least give me some warning that another portal's gonna come. That's crazy. All right, come on, archers, do some damage. These orc drummers beat up their friends. I don't like that. Okay, walk through these blades, see how you like that. Yeah, you didn't. 
That was crazy. We're kind of slowly back on track though. I really need some archers or something. I just don't have enough damage. I can do a guards mark though. Okay. That should hopefully help us a little bit. And a burning. Oh no, they're still getting through. I've only got 11 health. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sell some stuff from up here. Let's sell more. Sell all my traps up there. I'll move my guards up. Let's get some archers in as well. Okay, good. We've got the guards up and the archers behind now. I'm just going to throw in a dart trap as well. We're going to get a massive amount of enemies up from here, though. I had to delete all my high damage stuff. I have to hope that this can hold them all off now. I can do an acid trap, actually. Okay, let's do that. We'll add an acid trap in here too. Burn, poison, blades. I don't like the look of this giant boss troll coming, though. Oh my god, we're on six health. All right, let's speed this up. Our archers are really taking them out. That's nice. So not that troll. He's got so much health. Okay, I'm nervous about this troll. Oh, get absolutely rinsed by my blades. Oh yeah, melted. I'm gonna skip through to the next wave here. Another arrow trap in here. Hopefully that can shoot them. Yep, it can. Another sulfur floor in here as a backup. Skip to the next wave as well. I shouldn't have skipped that wave actually. That was a bad mistake. <laughs> this rotary blade though is unreal. It's so strong. Look at all of the enemies coming. I'm gonna put my steam engine here. Okay, good. That can speed up all of those traps. I'm actually just going to upgrade it. It's the only thing. Oh, no. The big guy's here. The big guy. Lord Juma. He's got so much health. Let's get more spine traps. I'm just going to put in whatever I can afford. Oh, God. The Lord Juma's going to hit here at full health. I'm actually going to sell my archers from there. Put another spine trap. Is a dart trap worth it? I'm just going to do it. Let's sell all these traps. Let's see if we can... By the time he's there, if he can get to less than 12... Oh, okay. Lord Juma's in. Come on. How much damage can we do? Let's do our rain. Oh, the rain of arrows. Yes. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance to the rain of arrows. All right. Well, that was cheeky of the game, that extra little thing. And now there's a whole nother map. If you guys are interested in seeing more, let me know. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Love you. Okay, bye.